On November 1st of uh, 2007, my son Charlie um, was uh, unfortunately killed in uh, an accident that I never thought or, or never imagined could happen. That's Brett Horn. His two and a half year old son died when a dresser tipped over on him. He died from asphyxiation. Um, we had we had no clue that this was a hazard at the time. And uh, then, you know, through years later, I, I discovered that this was happening to many, many parents around the country. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, at least 234 people have died from clothing storage unit tip overs from January of 2000 to April of 2022, including 199 children. Through the pain, Brett and his family have been fighting for other kids' safety. They, along with other grieving parents, created an organization called Parents Against Tip Overs. For years, they've lobbied Congress for change. A law was passed called the Sturdy Act, and it's taking effect starting this month. As of September 1st, 2023, furniture manufacturers and retailers must comply with new furniture safety requirements. Here's the safety standard, ASTM F2057-23. What that means is new clothing storage units like dressers have to now meet stability standards. And when they're sold, they have to come with kits to anchor the furniture. So it is the middle of September, and here's the thing. I just went into a store that sells furniture, and I'm pretty sure the furniture I saw was made before September 1st. So what are you supposed to do in that case? So definitely for your uh, furniture at home, uh, we advise you to anchor all furniture to the wall. This is Dave Gouda with the nonprofit Kids in Danger. You should still anchor your furniture, even if you buy um, one that does uh, comply with the new safety standard. So I just did a quick internet search and I typed in furniture anchor kits into Google and it came up with a bunch of options. There are some from Amazon, Walmart, there's one here from Wayfair, and I found some as cheap as 12 bucks. Kids in Danger also has this advice. Buy furniture with a wider base, heavier back panel, and or interlocking drawers. Don't put a TV on furniture that's not intended for that use, and keep toys and remote controls off of furniture so kids aren't tempted to climb up on them. Brett Horn and his organization share their stories because these tragedies keep happening. Kids in Danger reports at least three children have died from furniture tip-overs just this year. He says their journey of advocacy has been a long one. His son Charlie was a triplet. His siblings have gone off to college now. As a, a grieving parent, what I like to say is you can always fix a hole in the wall, but you can't fix a hole in your heart. So take the time to anchor your furniture to the wall.